Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we start, could I ask those other me uh, members who are here who are going to be speaking to join me at the lectern, Mr. Boucher and uh, the leader of the council? Uh, Representative Deputy Lieutenant for Hillingdon, Deputy High Commissioner, and distinguished guests. It gives me great pleasure to formally welcome you all here today to witness the unveiling of a blue plaque in tribute to Cecil John Kinross, who won the Victoria Cross. The highest and most prestigious award for gallantry in October 1917 at the Battle of Passchendaele. Cecil Kinross was born here at Juice Farm this very day, 115 years ago, and we will hear later details of his extraordinary courage and bravery in winning his Victoria Cross as part of the Canadian Expeditionary Force during the First World War. I am therefore extremely delighted that the Canadian Deputy High Commissioner has been able to join us today. I'm also pleased to be able to welcome two members of the 49th Loyal Edmonton Regiment who have travelled all the way from Canada to attend this morning's ceremony. Finally, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to the representatives from the Royal British Legion and the Victoria Cross Society. We will shortly be addressed by the Canadian Deputy High Commissioner, Mr Claude Boucher, and by Councillor Ray Puddyfoot, the leader of Hillingdon Council. Before the unveiling of the blue plaque and the playing of the last post in a tribute to a very brave Canadian soldier. I would, however, like to conclude by reading a few poignant words that were written by another very famous Canadian, Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, in May 1915, during the Second Battle of Ypres. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravery singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up your quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my great pleasure to invite Mr. Claude Boucher to address us. <coughs> Worshipful Mayor of Ellington. Councillor Puddyfoot, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to be here today at the birthplace of Cecil John Kinross, recipient of the Victoria Cross. Unfortunately, the Canadian High Commissioner, James Wright, cannot be here today as he has another appointment, but he sends his very best wishes and he asks me to pass on his thanks to all those involved in organizing this event. Mr. King Ross was born at Deuce Farm here in Airfield. In his, in his mid-teens, he moved to Canada to the town of Lougheed near Edmonton, Alberta, where he worked on his family's farm. With us here today, we have Captain Robert Glidden and Regimental Sergeant Major Keith Jacquard from the Royal Edmonton Regiment, who have flown in from Canada to honor one of the regiment's most distinguished members. Mr. King Ross is a symbol of the enduring relationship between Britain and Canada. Within days of the First World War being declared, recruiting officers across Canada were overwhelmed with volunteers who came from every part of Canada and every walk of life. Like Mr. Kingcross, few of them were professional soldiers. They were ordinary Canadians confronting extraordinary circumstances. 68,000 of them did not return. Those soldiers gave their lives so that we may live in peace. And the values for which they fought freedom, democracy, and the rule of law are still being fought for today in Afghanistan. And today, as yesterday, 
we stand shoulder to shoulder with British troops as part of the, nation, the, the NATO-led forces. When he volunteered, Mr. King Ross could not have known that the First World War will become a defining moment in Canadian history. In 1914, Canada was still a dominion, but the experience of war transformed our country in so many ways. And by 1918, we were forging ahead towards nationhood. The, that nationhood was won by gallant men like Mr. Kinross and his fellow Canadians, who stood fast at Ypres, who took Vimy Ridge, who captured Passchendaele, and who entered Mons. They helped make Canada what it is today. <coughs> Mr. King's Ross' remarkable bravery is still remembered in Canada, where a mountain in the province of Alberta is named in his honor. He lived his life by the same virtues that all Can Canadians still respect today, selflessness, courage, and compassion. And this blue plaque is a fitting tribute at the very place where it all began for him. We are grateful to the Hillingdon Council for having taken this unique initiative to honor Cis Cecil John Kingross. Thank you very much. Representative Deputy Lieutenant for the London Borough of Hillingdon, Mr. Deputy Mr. High Academy. Commissioner, Worshipful Mayor of Hillingdon and distinguished guests, may I add my personal welcome to you all and thank you for joining us today. I'm delighted to be here today at the unveiling of this plaque to honour Cecil John King Ross, BC, who was born here at Hughes Farm. This is the second blue plaque that we've unveiled to one of our former residents who've received this prestigious honour of being awarded the Victoria Cross. The first of which is also here in Harefield and is a tribute to Robert Ryder, BC. Harefield has a rich military history. The church cemetery at St Mary's houses the Anzac Cemetery, containing the graves of over 100 soldiers of the 1st Australian Imperial Force who died at number one Australian Auxiliary Hospital, based here in Harefield, after being wounded in the First World War. As you will have read from the programme today, Cecil John King Ross VC was born here at Jews Farm on this day in 1896. At the age of 16, he went with his family to Alberta, Canada, and later served with the 49th Infantry Battalion, Canadian Expeditionary Force, until he was discharged in 1919. Private Kinross was awarded the VC at the Battle of Passchendaele in October 1917. The citation reads, for most conspicuous bravery in action during prolonged and severe operations, and tells how Private Kinross' company came under intense artillery fire and heavy fire from an enemy machine gun. Private Kinross threw all his equipment to the ground except for his rifle and bandolier and in broad daylight charged across the open ground with a machine gun, killing the crew of six and seizing and destroying the gun, allowing his company to advance and establish a highly important position. The citation was published in the London Gazette the 11th of January 1918. The England Council and its residents are rightly very proud of the deep bond that exists between members of the armed forces and the borough. And when we hear stories like that of Cecil Kinross, it brings to us a poignant reminder of the courage of bravery of those who risk or sometimes gave their lives for our ways of life and our freedoms. Mr Deputy High Commissioner, we are honoured that you've joined us today at the unveiling of this plaque to one of our residents who went on to serve Canada and who fought for the freedom of us all. And without further delay, I, I ask the work of the Mayor of Hillingdon, Councillor David Yarrow, to unveil the plaque to Cecil Kinross, BC. <coughs> It certainly gives me great pleasure to do this and unveil it, and perhaps it will help foster the relationships between Canada and, uh, and England and to remember all those Canadians who didn't return after the First World War.
Bye. <laughs>